Hello guys, we are here back at the revisit of the Lord and Taylor in Rockaway, New Jersey. Uh, I filmed this, I believe, last year at 2021. Um, I forgot when I filmed it. It might have been in the beginning of the 2021. Now it's a Lord and failure. <laughs> no offense to the, re uh, you know, the retail chain, but yeah it's a failure now all these uh lord and taylor stores are closed they closed i believe two years ago uh during the pandemic As you can see the signage is still here the legendary signage so let's check this place out real quick i don't i don't believe much has changed with this Doors were pretty much closed. Some lights are on inside. You could see the mirrors on the pillars. Yeah, it's pretty much gutted out. I see some chairs here. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Maybe they're doing some work inside there. I don't know. We see our lovely friend the fire extinguisher, of course. <laughs> Not much in there, you know, we're gonna do. I just saw a truck go by. As long as it's, as it's not police, I don't care. <laughs> it's another entrance doors right here, these railways. I think there's like three entrances to get inside this Lord and Taylor. <laughs> and they have the website. I want to skip the lines looking for more sizes and styles. Didn't really want to leave the house today. Hell yeah, online shopping has really taken over these days. That's why these stores don't even really exist anymore, sadly. Here we get a little bit of the better look of the inside i think i see the lord and taylor sign right there see that right up against that wall and they have these detectors right here most likely go off if you stole something oh nice they have this michael kors thing right here too this display uh they probably had clothes or cologne there and see the exit sign. And guys, let's go to the other entrance real quick. <sighs> like I said, guys, we're going to be heading into winter and the weather's getting colder and colder. I think right now it's in the 40s, I believe. Oh, I'll show you the shipping and receiving area too. Kind of dark here. They had two docks and a uh, compactor area. I'm not even gonna bother looking at the doors there. Um, let's see, should I walk down here see what see what's here? Was there another door here? Let me just check real quick. Yeah, that was a steep hill down. <laughs> so this is the Rockway Mall, guys. Looks like they didn't have an entrance. Oh wait, they might have one over there for the doors there. Let me check real quick. Did you see one of the entrances to the mall? There is another entrance by the Lord and Taylor down that way. The, this is one of their main entrances. And they have a cheesecake factory here. PF Chang's. Looks like there's another entrance to the mall right there too. Some cars are still here. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like they have another entrance here. I think the um, the mall closes at like eight or nine, something like that. And if you guys are interested, there's a old video of what the Rockaway Town Square Mall used to look like back in, I believe, 1999. 
I looked at that and wow, that was such a throwback. Those are the good old days. This is the other entrance. Some lights are inside there. There we have some uh, display cards here. I guess they, had, they put their, some clothes, merchandise on there. Yeah. If it wasn't for these double doors, I would have seen more inside, you know? No, he's got a, the Lord and Taylors, they're not very, um, they don't have doors they don't have like single doors where you can see it through. It's always a double doors. They have uh, these, the tables all lined up over there when they used to have the merchandise on them. They're all lined up. I also see some registers and monitors here. Hmm. Interesting. It hasn't been removed. All right, let's go to the other entrance. There's, I think there's one more entrance way, and then that's it. There we have the legendary Lord and Taylor sign right here too. I think this is my second or third video on, this found my second video on doing at night because I remember filming the series here that's close, and then uh, part part of the Sears turned into a uh, spirit Halloweeny, <laughs> spirit Halloweeny. And you guys, um, you guys know this uh, party city over here used to be a Toys R Us. Uh, I think they converted the Toys R Us into a party city, like. Five years ago, I believe. Five or four years ago. I think like all the Toys R Us stores closed. Well, most of them. They closed in 2017 or 2018. Um, they opened up a new one in... Uh, the I think it's called the American Dream Mall in uh, East Rutherford. I think that Toys R Us is doing well. Um, I just don't know how long it will stay open. You know, it's sad that we don't have, like, these stores anymore open, like, Toys R Us. KB Toys was another store, another toy store that I remember very well in my childhood. Going to night, uh, I remember going to the one in Willowbrook, Willowbrook Mall in Wayne, New Jersey. They used to have a KB Toys there. I used to go there with my mom and dad every time when I was a kid. And I believe they closed that in the early 2000s. They actually went defunct that time too, so. So this is the other entrance of the mall right here. I really like this, uh, iPhone 14 that I got, the iPhone 14 Plus. It's like, the video and photo quality is amazing on here. It's just unbelievable. And every year they develop their phones. It's crazy. All right, so this is, looks like the last entrance that we'll be seeing here. There isn't really a lot to look inside. It's about the same. Some lights are on. See some exit signs. The mirrors on the pillars. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> Basically the same stuff. Oh, we have uh, something here. What sign is that? What does that say? I don't really know what brand name that is. And there's a whole display here too, as well. I really hope this uh, store gets converted into something. I would like to see that happening. 
maybe like a boss cause can come here. That was one of my ideas. Or a pre-mark. A pre-mark can come here too. Okay, this is the last doors we're going to see here. And, uh, not really much to see, but here we see the tables here that are lined up. They're all bunched up over there. <laughs> well, sad to see this place closed. A legendary retailer. They were once the oldest retailer in the United States that was open. And they're no longer open anymore, Lord and Taylor. Now I believe uh, Macy's is the oldest active uh, retailer in the United States open. Either that or Sears. But Sears is, uh, I think the remaining stores for Sears are going to be closing next year in 2023 as long as K uh, same thing with Kmart too since they're tied to, the, to each other. I think the um, what do you call the Pier One Imports that I filmed here too turned into a sleep number. Um, I think they have like mattresses there for um, I don't know sleepy people, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, that about does it, guys. Hope you kind of enjoyed this video. <sighs> So look at the signage again so signing off of this video and there's the amc theater this looks like a nice movie theater i might come here one day and check out a movie it's like a girlfriend or something <laughs> all right guys um update for you let me flip the phone so guys um i might actually i really want to film in Connecticut uh, Saturday um, I have a list of places to go to and I really want to see this Blockbuster sign in uh, Stanford Connecticut that's something I want to see so that's pretty cool and you know, some other stuff so and I'm gonna be going down the shore on Sunday with my best friend and another friend I'm gonna try to catch some toy talk again and that'll be the last time we go for this year until probably April or May next year. So, see you in the next one, guys. Peace out. Peace.